Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems. So today's system is from the user Terra in Discord, so massive thank you to them for submitting this simulation. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Uh, in the meantime as well everybody, if you would like to submit your own simulation for this series, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description where the uh, rules and requirements are in there. And then you can just drop uh, your system in there and we can uh, get to checking it out in a future video. But anyways... Let's get on to this. So, this is the chaotic system. Chaotic system? Chaotic system? So, here we go. The names in this system are based um, on the Cos um, Cosmo Junior deities. The myths explain the ancient Greek world formation. Okay. I don't think the names are too hard for me to spell. Well, you know, with me, uh, yeah, I'm certainly saying else when I start saying weird um, words. <laughs> right, anyways. So, the system consists of various planets... Totalizing the 13 planets, 28 major moons, 4 dwarf planets, and the star of the show, which is Chaos here. So, Chaos, typical KOV star in the direction of the constellation of um, Acrity, named uh, the primal Greek god. He is a little dimmer than our sun and estimates preview this star has a lifespan of 16 billion years. Very nice. Okay, does the star have any description? I don't think it does. Okay, so, star itself. Very nice. Goggles on, goggles off. There you go. So, First of the worlds, we have Nyx here. Okay. And Nyx and Erebus, the second object as well. Two airless suburbs with various canyons and craters. Due to stellar encounters, the comets and meteors bombard the inner planets. Maybe like a heavy late bombardment period. Mm. Well, there you go. So a scorching face in the brightness of the star there. Reflecting a lot of that light back by the looks of things. So, Erebus, similar world. There it is. Okay. So, two Mercury esque looking worlds here. Very nice. Okay. Next up, we've got Kronos over here. Third planet out. Very hot and dry desert in temperatures hitting 60 Celsius. Its coloured surface and atmosphere having traces of sulphur, giving it its yellowish colour. Have one minor moon, Centaurul. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And there it is. Looking good. Okay. So, lots of hot rocks so far by the looks of things, okay. Next up we've got Prometheus. A Venus analogue, no by its toxic atmosphere made of CO2, traces of N2 and other compounds. Different from our neighbour, he has 40 hours rotational speed, giving it an active core and a magnetic field as strong as Earth. So that is a, ooh, that's a, quite the world there. Um, it's closer so we can actually see the stuff. Okay, it's underneath. There you go. Okay. Looking good. A very reflective atmosphere there. Very nice. Have a cheeky surface too. I mean, with an atmosphere like this, you probably wouldn't see the sun very easy. For instance, but there you go. Chaos in the sky. Looking good. There you go. Depends how thick the atmosphere is, of course. Very nice. Okay, so let's close that. Let's reopen this. Okay, so Prometheus. Next up, we are moving to uh, Pontus. Over here. The first... Potential good-looking world. I think this is where we spawned in, wasn't it? Okay, so. An Aquarius world with ultramarine life, similar to ours, and still developing. Intelligent life, not as friendly as ours. Um, the temperature is very friendly, rem rem remembering a lot of our planet. Has one Callisto moon, or Ores. Okay. Land on the surface here. There we go. Little look around. Star in the sky. Shining bright. Looking good. Very nice. Okay, yeah, very heavy oceans, isn't there, isn't there? Right, next up. The moon as well. Obviously not much to show here. Just created world as you'd expect. Okay. Moving on to this one. Oshino. A frigid earth-sized uh, planet due to its chemical compounds and a lot of water ice. Uh, hasn't moons, but it's a very beautiful place if you don't care to freeze in an ice-like world. Okay, it's like a frozen world. There you go. Okay. Moving on, Hypnos here. The unique super earth in the system is famous um, to be a snow world of water, ice, and ammonia. It's colder than Oshino and reflects much light as the Jovian moon Europa. Has two small moons, Oneros and Morpheus. 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 Pretty small moons. There they are, there. Okay. There's quite a lot of barren worlds in here, from what I'm seeing so far. Okay, moving on. Hyperion. Okay, what's this? A 
close orbit sub Jupiter and the first gas giant. We predicted up here to form a lot further away, but the natural evolution migrate closer than Jupiter. Has three major moons. Okay. There it is. We've got Eos here. Looking good. An enormous moon seems to be more seventy nine percent more massive than Ganymede with various icy structures. Then we have Helios, a moon a little bigger than the Saturnian moon Rhea. Uh remembers a little our moon by Mars presence. I do not know what that means. Um, next up we have Selene. 0 0.05 times the mass of the moon. Some mysterious white blobs appear in its eastern hemisphere. Recently, scientists discovered a variant version of ammonia, which act much like H2O. Okay, those are white areas. Okay. Now, next up, we're heading to Eta over here. The biggest player among the gas giants. Can we turn the goggles off, get a bit of a view. There you go. Besides being 20% more massive than Jupiter, it is similar in 98% of the aspects. It's quite cold, but has an enormous quantity of moons. The major one totalizing four. Okay. It's got some very, very close moons nearby. But this one, that one is very close. A little asteroid moon. Okay. So we've got Net Neru here. So the first one is like Saturn's moon in Hyperion we just visited. This one, quite a small moon, formerly of H2O, NH3, and other compounds. There you are. Moving on to this one. Medium sized moon, just like the Neptunian moon Triton, has craters in a subsurface ocean. Very cool. Okay. So we have Thalassa, the biggest moon of Eta. It has a thin oxygen atmosphere and pretty massive among the system. Some forces over here. Similar, helps say the orbit of moonlets adjusts in its eccentricities. Okay. Nice. Thanatos. A ringless version of Saturn. Okay. With three major moons. Its colour is believed due to the presence of CL2 and S2. Okay, first of the moons. Mors. A small moon that reflects a lot of light. If you see Mors from the Finantian sky, it'll be five times more brighter than our moon approximately. Okay. We have uh, uh, Alios Allio here. Okay. Alios. Okay. Nice. The second moon is very similar to Europa Moon Fusion, has cry of volcanoes. Hespera. A small moon with the biggest canyon in the system. Okay. Nice. You can see it there. Looking good. Next up, we're heading to Themis. Nice giant. So we're taking a bigger jump out now. Okay, there it is. First of the icy worlds. Okay. An ice giant with a beautiful sky colour. She has five major moons. Okay. So we've got Dice, the first moon up. Okay. It's a titanium, titanium sized moon with a grey brownish colour. Okay. We've got quite a realistic look. There's no exotic colours kind of catching the eye. It's all very sort of barren, rocky. Well, so it's kind of a realistic look, but you know, we do like a bit of customisation. So my feedback so far would be it's a bit, a bit more customisation in here because. A lot of the worlds are quite, you know, they are very realistic looking, which is not a problem. But, you know, we do like a bit of extra in these. So, I mean, that would be my feedback so far. Um, so, okay, yeah. A small moon with a lot of minerals. It's believed that Uranus is born with two different moons collided, giving it its bright, dark, bright, dark contrast. Kind of reminds me of Iapetus around Saturn in that kind of description. Aphiobi here. Definitely the highest albedo of all the system. Its crust of ice is 5.5 more reflective than Europa, besides its smaller size. Next up, we've got this one. It's known by the Valis in the middle of its hemisphere. There you go. But again, yeah, all the moons, they all look very, very similar. There's no sort of unique moons standing out. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Cryos. Green air world, okay. A greenish ice giant with 16.9 times the mass of our planet has four major moons. Okay. So here we go. So this first moon, Estrus. Uh, considered more of a moonlet by its small mass, but in 2009 was torn into a major moon by the presence of exotic Pauline organic compound. Next up, we have a uh, is it Perseus here? Ooh. A very dark moon. Okay. And we have Pallas, very bright moon with a chain of craters. Cool. We have Estige. 
one of the few moons believed to be a dwarf planet. Its size is enormous compared to the moons of the outer belt system. Okay, nice. Right, moving on. Noto, the last ice giant in the system. It's known uh, by the lowest temperatures, has two major moons. Okay. Again, realistic looking planets here. I mean, I'm not complaining with that, but I think we just do need a bit more customization on some of these because they all are very sort of stock looking, especially the moons. So, there we go. So we've got this one here. Similar to Neptune history, captured it. It's second moon in the process. It destroyed Noto from all the moons except for um, Espino's Astral. That's the other moon here. Okay. Nice. So next up we have Dwarf Planets 2. They are ice bodies much like Haumea, Eris, Make, Make, Pluto. They form much closer and in less eccentric orbits but get scattered away by Noto and Cryo's outer migration. Okay, so you can see them all here. That's the end of the description. Okay, so obviously all minor worlds. But these are your Pluto Aries analogs, for instance. So looking good. Very, very nice. So we can visit all quickly. You've got Maya here. It's obviously all very minor worlds on the edge of the system. How far away are we? We are currently sitting around 52 AU, so quite a decent jump size here. About 400 year orbits going on here. So we round it up. 481 years on this guy. There you go. Looking good. Nice. Then one over here. 758 years, the furthest of them all. Harmonia. And there we are. That seems to be everything. Anything further away? Any hidden secrets? Always worth having a look. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, all the way back to the star now. Very nice. There's its zone, for instance, as well. Looking good. Temperature wise, I mean, it only had the one uh, sort of Earth like world, wasn't it? It was at Pontus here in the perfect 14 Celsius. Look at its stats. Pretty decent. Uh, that was the only world that was potentially good. There was nothing else in this system. It meant immediately cold after that. So, yeah, that's really, uh, that's really an interesting lineup. So, here you go. There's your lineups of gas giants. Got three, got three ice giants, three gas giants. Mass wise, 1.2 Jupiters. Again, that's a decent size there. Then it goes to 0 0.3 Jupiters. Put that into Earth masses. So, again, larger than Saturn. This one as well, also larger than Saturn. So, three huge, well, for our, compared to our solar system, three huge regular gas giants, and even the ice giants here. 16.2, a little smaller than Neptune. 14.4, about Uranus. And 16, again, almost a Neptune as well. So much heavier gas giant worlds and ice giants than, than our own solar system. And a lot more of them. So there you go. Rocky planets, again, had some super Earths in here. And there's your lineup. You've got the one Earth-like world. You've got your Venus. But, I mean, this is, this is where my feedback comes in. Look how many very similar design worlds are there here. The customization... I think could definitely be improved. That would be my main feedback for sure. But, I mean, look. They're all very similar in appearance. There's not much customization going on. Look at all these kind of stock standard spawned worlds. So, yeah, that would be my major feedback for this. But other than that, nicely built system. Easy to navigate. Always a plus. So, there you go. That does it for this system. I think the object trails. Maybe a little more color on those as well. But, yeah, there we go. So, that does it for this system, everybody. So, again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Terra. For sending in their simulation so that was the uh, chaotic system very very nice indeed let us know what you think of this system down below in the comments as well everybody if you enjoyed this video press that like button subscribe for more help us in the journey to 50,000 subscribers everybody as we're less than 500 people we are so close we are so 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 close so appreciate your support as always make sure you guys all have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye